our week is date and our lecture is for the two class and the subject is english today we will learn about the two things the first one is about the common noun and second one is about the proper noun when you are going to see in the last one i will told you about the common noun and proper noun i hope you have clear concept in your mind remember that one i am going to again teach you about the common noun common noun are the general names of person places or things means that general names are called common noun like doctor driver milk mobile cat and the dog as these names are introduced as a general names means that doctor is a doctor we do not call it as a nurse we do not call it as a engineer driver bus driver like me we do not call it as a um, soft milk like hard milk freeze milk we call it as a milk mobile same word cat we call the cat as a cat not as a dog and the dog as not as a cat means that now you have clear concept in your mind that common noun are the general names general name that every person called them with their real names is about the common noun now we learn about the proper noun do you have any clear concept in your mind about proper noun proper noun are the name of particular person place or thing in the common noun we read about the things that every person calls them with their names but in the proper noun means that complete name proper name like i am your teacher as you know that i am not your um, male teacher my name is for example my name is hina you can call me as miss hina not as a miss shazia okay now next one is about muldan like bachelor himos pepsi and the dairy milk these are the examples of the proper noun in the common noun common noun are the general names of the person place or things and the proper noun are the name of a particular person place or thing is it complete name now come on the book page number 18 which is about noun and its kind now the first one is about the noun as you know that noun is the name of a place person or thing is called as a noun second one is about there is a two type of noun like common noun and the proper noun as i told you about the common noun and the proper noun with the examples now you have to write down the definition of the common noun and the proper noun in the given blank that you have to given just write down the definition of the common noun and the proper noun in this exam in this filling the blanks now come on the next page this is about page number 19 they are given you the exercise the first one is about underline the noun in the given sentences and separate them as the common noun and the proper noun like they are given you different sentences and they are given you different two columns like common noun and the proper noun you have to identify that what is mean by the common noun and what is mean by the proper noun first one i solve for you he is a bus driver is a sentence now when we talk about the driver as we read in the examples driver is a common noun and bus is a proper noun means complete name now the rest of others you have to solve this under the guideline of your parents and the teacher and the tutors also you have to complete this exercise now the second part write down the separate names of the person places or things they are given you a block like different names in the person name places name and the things names in the green box you have to write down in this column like the name of a person in this block place in this box and think in this box you have to complete this under the guideline of your parents and the teacher this is your task that you have to complete this page now we we'll learn about a new chapter which is about the pronoun now you have read the two things about the common noun and the proper noun common noun are the general names and the proper noun are the particular name of a place person or thing this is about your common noun and the proper noun our next topic is about pronoun we have read about the common noun and the proper noun our next topic is about pronoun now when we read, as we read about the complete definition about the word noun the name of a place person or thing is known as a noun 
but when we talk about the pronoun pronoun are used in place of noun in the noun we read about the lahore we know we know that as a city but now we are talking about the complete name means that the name given for the noun is known as the pronoun pronoun are used in place of noun for example ali is a boy is a example where but when we talk about the pronoun as we know that ali is a boy so that's why we we write as the he not as a she because he is a boy so that's why we write it he he is a good boy means that in this example he he is a complete pronoun means that the word used for the noun in place of the noun we known as a pronoun the next is another example like this is a table as you notice this this is a table is example but when we are talk about the pronoun we write here as a it it is made of wood means that we use this word for the noun means that the replaceable the changeable word used for the noun is known as a pronoun now open your book page number 20 Now they have given you the complete definition like pronoun are the word used in place of noun. Like example, Ali is a boy. He is a good boy. He is a pronoun. This is a table. We use the word it. It is a pronoun. Boys are the boys in the ground. They use the word they. They are playing. Means that he, she, they, they are the pronoun. Means that they use this word in place of the noun. Now the next column is about the personal pronoun and the possessive pronoun. Personal means that belongs to you, and the possessive pronoun that belongs to the possessiveness. Means that I, you, he, she, it. These are the singular noun. But when we change them, we write here like I change into the we, you change into the you, he change into the they. Next one, singular pronoun, possessive pronoun like mine, ours, yours. your yours his theirs her and it these are your possessive pronoun we learned about the personal pronoun and the possessive pronoun now now look at the page 21 that they have given you the exercise about the pronoun means that again repeating the definition of the pronoun that we use the word to change this noun into the pronoun we give them the simple and we give them as a specific name like First one, underline the pronoun in the given par paragraph. They are giving you a paragraph, and you have to underline the pronoun. Like Ali is a boy. We know that it's an example of noun. But when we change into the pronoun, we write it as he. He underline this word he. He is in class two. This is his copy is a noun. Ahmed and Amir are his friends. they play together they talk about the amir and ahmed so that's why they choose the word they and they is a pronoun this is their ball sana is a sister she is a good girl she is a pronoun underline this word she loves to eat banana she underline this word pronoun now in this paragraph you have to underline the pronoun in the next paragraph write the suitable pronoun in the given sentences they are given you the suitable pronoun in this uh, column like the personal pronoun and the possessive pronoun now you have to choose this word according to the definition according to the blank and put this word in the given blank like first one my name is jameel dash and your old i am your old i am 6 years old farah is my friend she s h e she is beautiful this is very difficult for me m e me i do my homework and they do not sana is a girl she is she is intelligent this is a chair it is made of steel it sara sara and saba are friends they study together d h e y they asim is playing cricket he is a good player he h e he Iram is an intelligent student. She likes studying. S H E she. Danish loves designing. He is a good designer. 
Now I am solving this page. You have, if you have any kind of problem in this, you have to read under the guideline of your parents and the tutor to solve this page. That I am giving you. This is your homework task that you have to complete. Learn these both chapters like common noun, pronoun, and the pronoun. You have to complete this page number 19 and page number 21. This is your homework task that you have to. Learn complete grammar chapter number eight, nine, and ten. Now you are not going getting confused about this chapter. The chapter number ten is about the form of the verb. Form of the verb, which tells you about the action that you are doing, means that I am going to teach you. It's my action. You are studying. Studying is your action. This is about the verb definition. Now they have given you the different form of the verb, and you have to read. Like they have the first one is act. But when we are learn about the second form, we call it as acted, and the third form is acted the same form. Now they are giving you different form of the verb, and you have to read these form of the verbs. This is your task that you have to complete in the whole week, chapter number eight, nine, and ten. This is your homework task that you have to complete. Okay, student. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.